So today we are going to see how we can import the Excel data to MySQL or any other database. I am taking an example of MySQL. The reason of doing this is usually the database mostly in uh, small industries or small institutions we make in Excel. But we, when we want to make it in large, uh, we want to uh, emancipate our work, we want to convert it into the, to the MySQL or any other database and that becomes very important and cumbersome because making the data or inserting the data again to MySQL will be, very, will be very difficult. So let us see and the precursor is you must know Excel, you must know uh, say LAMP or XAMPP or say VAMP, these all have MySQL in it. So I will be dealing with the PHP MyAdmin for that. You need to know either MySQL because it is not necessary to know all these if you are aware of the MySQL. So Excel, I will just show you the example data. This is our data. This is the Excel file. Now somebody has made the file in Excel. Now he or she wants to convert it or directly transfer it to MySQL. How to do it? So we'll make a we'll take a short example. This is the first process. Make a new file in Excel, right? Uh, see, uh, give it a name as say ID. We'll take one number and one text, right? Say name and uh, ID. Let us take one say 2, say 3 and 4, so only 4 we are going to take, say Alan and uh, say Manon, say Mickey and say Lucy. So we have 4 names, we have rows, ID, name, so actually we have 2 columns, ID and name and we have 4 data, 4 entries. So this is the data for you. So we have ID name. Now we want to import it into MySQL. For that, the first thing you have to do is first convert it or save it as, save it as what? As CSV. CSV is what? Comma separated value. CSV is what? Comma separated value. Right? I am uh, saving it as say, uh, first I have to save the XLS, let us save it. Now let me save it as, again, now I will choose the CSV, comma separated value, CSV, right. So there are various options, you can choose any. I uh, will take say, CSV MS-DOS for example and let me save it. It will say some features in your workbook might be lost. If you save it as MSV, no problem. Make it yes. Okay. Now we have CSV. Let me show you. Let me show you this in some Notepad or Notepad Plus per se. Any interval. So this is our data. This is these are our columns, ID, name, and this is our data. Now we are ready to import it. But I will tell you some problems, some glitches are there that we are going to uh, mitigate. For that, I will go to my VAM server, open my VAM server and go to PHP MyAdmin. Once I go to my PHP MyAdmin, it will ask for some credentials. Just enter the credentials and go. Then I will make a new database, right? New database, new and the database name can be anything, MyDB and say create. Okay. Now I have to create a table because my data is going to go in the tables only. So my name can be anything, anything my table, say my table and uh, I have two columns so I just have to make it two, go. Now two columns, first was my ID, remember first was my ID and second was my name, right? And ID, let us take it as integer, name can be text, right? And let me make it save. So I have a database now, my DB. Inside this, 
I have made a table. Let us see the table. This is my table. Let me open my table. And now I have to import. What I have to do? Do import. So let's just import. Choose the file. Book1.csv. But there is something we need to do. Because we have come to this CSV, comma separated value we have made, I have to remove this first line because I don't want this column name because I have already made two columns in my database. So I just don't want that column name, I just want the data. Let me save it. Our new CSV, book1.csv, has only data. First column is the ID, second column is the name, and I want to convert it or I want to feed it to MySQL. Let us see. Choose file, book1.csv. Let me import it. Or go. Now see, this query has to come. Once this query has come, let me open that table. And now I have ID, I have name. I hope you can relate it. Let me show you. This was our CSV. We made CSV from Excel. Excel our data is in Excel, we convert it into CSV, then we made a database in our, our MySQL, made a table. In table, I made two columns, and you can have more than two columns because this is just an example. And once you made the table, you imported that CSV, and now the data is imported. So this was how to convert your Excel to my MySQL or any, any uh, database with uh, little effort. Thank you so much. Take care.